Good morning, student! Okay, nga nung buka, mang kaayon na. So, para ma-energize ta, okay, ang kamot, ikan na kaway-kaway. Char dapat, student, active sa mo, like your teacher. Mag-start na ba ta? Okay na ba mo? Are you settled? Okay, very good. So, before everything, let's pray. Okay? Okay, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, our Father, work in heaven, will be in your name, your kingdom come, then will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as you forgive those days against us. In the name of the Son, deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay, students. So, and then, who is absent for today? Okay, very good. No one is absent for today. Mga na kung gusto sa usa ka student day. Okay, sa mga student, sa tanang kong student, gusto ko sa mga student na ako, dili mo absent. Okay, because I don't want um my student to be left behind in every topic, in every discuss, in every um situation that I'm with there. Okay, okay. So, let's start our, um, okay, no. We will not um start already the, our topic for today. Um, I want you, um, to answer this one. Um... Do you still remember the topic that I am tackling last week? Yes, the different shapes. So, di ba? Mauna itong um, topic last week. So, I think this, are you still remembering that shapes? Okay? And I want um one person who can give me an example of a uh, shapes. Okay? Okay, very good. Triangle. How about, um, I want um, another one. Okay, very good. Square. Okay, very good. So, nanginaw gila yung So, okay, maka-identify na mo kung isa ni. Okay, if, um, nanginaw na ako pag last, um, um, last week na akong kitakal is maka-answer dito na Okay? Okay, ang sanin siya na, ang siya na shape? Oh, very good. How about this one? Very good. How about this one? Okay, very good. Okay, wait, ka active ako kung mga student karoon. So, how about this one? Okay, how about this one? Okay, very good. So, I know you're tanan. Okay. So, na naman yung idea kung sa itong um, itackle karon nga topic. Okay. So, before kung proceed sa akong topic ng buhaton, na ako'y activity na buhaton. Um, di ba, nakaremember mo nga, before ta nag-start, is naghata ko rin yung box. O, oh, and ito, at kung naingon ko rinyo, sa itong box, dili sa rin yung oblihan. Kuhat mo sa ako ang instruction, so, may ngun ko, nakakata ng abihan. So, magdungan ta. Okay? So, ang instruction is, um, okay. Okay, buta na niyo ang box na namin sa, and then, um, okay, let's open. So, nakita ko mga shapes. Triangles, square, of circle. So, I want you to find someone have the same shape as yours. Because, mag-groupings ta, guys. Okay? So, ang group 1 will be the circle, and then the group 2 will be the triangle, and then the group 3 will be what? Square. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, hali. Okay, I already arranged you. So, nakita niyo ba ninyo yung mga ka-group? Kinsa yung mga ka- Kinsa yung mga shapes? So, okay. So, sunod na tong buhaton is we have to form it. Okay? What do I mean with that? So, okay. If natagaan mo o um, circle, so, in your group, you have to form a circle. Kung natagaan mo square, so you have to form a square. Kung natagaan mo triangle, you have to form triangle. And then, Study lang mo guys. Because, yes, I want you to form that one. And then later on, I will explain why I um I do that activity. What is the connect of that activity to our topic. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, I think, um, naka-form na ko ba? Okay, and then, study lang mo, and then, I want you to sing this one. If ang circle mo, Morning yung kantahon. A beautiful circle, a beautiful circle, a beautiful circle. And then, kung triangle mo, a beautiful triangle, a beautiful triangle. And then, if ang um, square mo, a beautiful square, a beautiful square. So, group one! Hmm? 
How about group two? How about group three? Very good. Oh my God, student. Very active. So, I want you to sit down. Okay. Arrange your chair properly. Walay mo dumugay. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay. So, nana mo idea, nana mo um little ideas akong topic for today. Okay, I know excited mo. Okay. So, nana mo idea if kun sa atong topic for today. Okay. Nako yung um nadunggan na um kun daw they already have an a little idea about the topic that I'm tackle tackling right now. Okay? So, our topic for today is two dimensional object. So, sa mga tanan ako if it is connected ba ni siya sa um, atong itakal last week? There are, yes. Because there are part of the shapes that is um, part of two dimensional object. So, I know, I know that you have already idea what are the shapes that um, example of um, two dimensional object. Because, um, di ba, nagpag-roof ko ninyo sa mga shape, kung sa itong mga shape na gigamit, nagpag-balita ninyo, circle, square, rectangle, and everything. Yeah. So, connected to sila sa two-dimensional object. So, kung saan mo dyan ng two-dimensional object? So, makamalat ka doon. So, student, okay, listen. Listen, because important din eh, that we should know about the two-dimensional object. Tar, okay? Two-dimensional object. Okay? It is a shape or an object in geometry are flat plane figures that have two dimension length and width. Two dimensional or 2D shapes do not have any thickness and can be measured in only two, in only two pieces. Okay. Ang two dimensional object ano, is na ay, do, na ay doha ka measurement which is the length and the width. For example, Triangle, square, rectangle, circle. Okay, karong guys, um, ato ipon. Kung pila ka sides ang triangle. Okay? Okay, let's count. One, two, three. So, ang triangle is na ay three ka sides. Nasa chay length and then nasa chay width. So, it means. Oh, that is two-dimensional object. Very good. Okay, that's it. Three sides. So, what is the next? It's a square. Okay? What is the count? One, two, three, four. So, now four sides and square. Okay, that's it. Four sides. And... It's not yet over because square have an equal side. So, nakabantay mo sa square. Same siya o size. Same siya o side by side. Okay? So, part, drop po na siya sa two-dimensional object. Okay? Kaya namin siya yung measurement nga, width and the length. Okay? Okay. Proceed na sa taas, sa rectangle. So, mag-ihap na sa taas, guys. Okay, magkita sa tas student. Okay. One, two, three, four. So, ang rectangle is na four sides. Okay, na four sides. And did you know that a rectangle is an opposite side? Man, kita wag sa opposite side. It is because dili sila the same na sides. Dako ang diri sa babaw, diri sa babaw sa ubos, and then diri sa diri kay gamay. So, di sila, opposite sila ang side. Diri, sa, diri sila same sa square. So, muna yung differential, because there are some na maglibok if kung sa siya rectangle and square. So, may na nalilin nyo sila guys, kung kung square and rectangle. Because the square is equal side. Same sila mga side. Same sila size sa side nila. And rectangle is an opposite. Okay? So, sa next na sa ta, circle. So, mamunta na ako guys. Naabay side ang circle. Wrong. Ang circle is no side. But, it doesn't mean di na siya belong sa two-dimensional object. Belong dyan siya guys. Belong dyan siya student. Okay? 
Okay, imagine niyo timanan that um two-dimensional object it is um have a two-dimension length and width. Okay? Um two-dimensional object is do not have thickness and can be measured in only two faces. Okay? Remember that. Okay. Um nakoy activity na ipabuhat. So that I can know if you really understand the topic that I'm tackling ganina, about the two-dimensional object. So na ako'y um, um, nakahati yari. So ito siyang hati yung guys. So in this area is the two-dimensional shapes which is katong itako na to ganita. Ganina. And also the three-dimensional shape. So I already know. I already told you the man about um, the three-dimensional object. What is the dip? Um, what is the meaning of that? Okay. So I want to know if you really understand my topic. Okay. So na kayo pakita niyo na picture, and then you identify if it is a two-dimensional object or three-dimensional object. So go help me. Kung asan nito siya ibutang, okay? Kung asan nito siya ibutang sides, there is a two-dimensional or a three-dimensional. So, okay, na lang example. Circle. Circle. So, as naman na ito siya ibutang? Sa two-dimensional object or sa three-dimensional object? Okay, very good. So, sa two-dimensional object. How about this one? A cone. A cone. As naman na ito siya ibutang? Sa three-dimensional or sa two-dimensional object? Okay. Okay, sa three-dimensional object. Nga naman, nga nung sa three-dimensional object man siya. It is because, dili man flat ang plane figures sa cone. Okay, kabantay mo? Nagagay siyang mga kuan? So, mauna siya guys, dili na siya, mauna siya student, dili siya um, two-dimensional object. How about the square one? How about the square one? Okay? Is this belong to that two-dimensional object? Is this belong to two-dimensional object? Okay, very good. Square is belong to two-dimensional object. How about the rectangle? Is this belong to two-dimensional object? Or it is belong to three-dimensional object? Okay, it is belong to two-dimensional object. So, if you still remember, guys, how many sides are there in rectangle? Yes, very good. Rectangle have four sides and an opposite side. It have a length and a width that makes um two-dimensional shapes. Um, how about this one? How about this one? This is the box. This is a cube. How about this one? Is this a three-dimensional object or two-dimensional object? Okay, very good. It is a three-dimensional shapes. So student, so I know um some of you still wondering why I talk about this two-dimensional object. Is that is not um a topic? But I want you to learn um the important that we should know the the name of that shapes so that we can identify if it is um what kind of shape is this? Okay, so we should know the value of shapes that um in real life there's a lot of shape that we can we can see. That we can use, okay. So we have to um to know to know the important that we should know the name of the shapes, that we should know um the two dimensional object. Um, so I think um done nata sa to ang discussion. I about kung um I know that you already know what is a two dimensional object, and I want you to thank you because. You are so very active student, okay? So, um, before everything, I want you to get a notebook and um, write this one because I have some an assignment, okay? Okay, so this is our assignments for today. Uh, much is too day shape to its real life look a lot. So, familiar ba mo ng connected the dots? So, mo na siya, guys. I'm mo siya, student. Um, you have to connect um, the shape to and real life look alike. So for example, rectangle, 
So, unsa may atong um butangs na sa at, na atong ma-encounter sa atong kinabuhi na rectangle. So, mo na siya, guys. For example, this one, the book. So, pamilyar ba mo sa book that um opposite You may go to it and have a nice day. I hope um, you still remember, you, um, you've learned of what I discussed.